Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. The ECB, European Central Bank, is printing new money and buying government bonds of European nations to sim stimulate the economy in the 19-member EU zone. Why are they doing this? Well, it is because the economies are not growing and quantitative easing appears to be the answer. Is this a good thing for nations like Ireland, Greece, Spain, Portugal, that have been suffering austerity imposed on them by the EU. Now joining us from Amherst, Massachusetts is Gerald Epstein. Gerald is co-director of the Political Economy Research Institute and professor of economics at UMass Amherst. Thank you so much for joining us, Jerry. Thank you for having me. So, Jerry, is this good news for the nations that are suffering in Europe? Well, it's unlikely to have uh, too much of an impact, actually. Uh, the, it's taken them a long time to really move to this. The C European Central Bank uh, waited a very long time uh, before uh, doing this quantitative easing. The Federal Reserve did it uh, several years ago. The Bank of England also did it several years ago. And the Eurozone, even without the problem of Greece, which is really compounding the difficulties tremendously, I can talk about that in a minute, uh, the Eurozone is, is stuck uh, in a very low growth of on the verge of recession. It's mixed across the countries, but uh, many of the countries, uh, the southern countries as well as Ireland and other countries, um, have very low growth, very high unemployment. So the idea of quantitative easing is to try to turn that around, but I just don't think that it's going to work. Why do some economies believe that quantitative easing is the route to go, uh, so much so that they actually implemented that uh, right here in the United States? Well, it, it made a certain amount of sense at the time in the United States. The uh, big crisis had just hit. The banks were relatively insolvent. Uh, interest rates were extremely high because of the high risk. So the quantitative easing early on made a certain amount of, of, of uh, sense in order to lower interest rates to try to uh, get the uh, investment going and the economy going. Even then, the uh, impacts were fairly modest. I've done a paper with my graduate student, Juan Montesino, and we've shown that the main impact of quantitative easing in the United States at that time, in 2009, 2011, was to raise bank profits and to raise uh, stock market equity and so it didn't really help get the economy going that much. It sort of put a floor on how, how far down the uh, economy could go. Um, but in Europe, uh, the crisis has now been going on for so long, and the austerity measures have been so extreme, I mean, even more so, say, than in the United States. The monetary policy, uh, quantitative easing in particular, can't really move, move uh, effectively against all of the headwinds. And then on top of that, uh, uh, when you have the Greek crisis coming in, um, it's, it's, it's pushing back so hard that it's really unlikely the quantitative easing can do much. And uh, so what could be uh, another way of resolving some of the crises in Greece, uh, Ireland, uh, Spain, Portugal? Well, um, let's take the, the Greek crisis itself. I know you've had a lot on on show about this, uh, good commentary about this. Today it's really, um, just, just today it's really uh, hitting uh, the fan as they say. The Greek government um, has written a, a, a letter to the European Union saying essentially they've caved in to almost all of their demands. Um, but in order to get a, a six month extension in order to figure out a solution out of this. But the German finance ministry is rejecting this. Um, the European Central Bank is a key player here, and it's not exactly clear what they're going to do. Um, what they decide to do about Greece is infinitely more important than what they decided to do about quantitative easing. Because if uh, Greece, uh, uncertainty about Greece increases, if uh, there's a run on Greek banks, if Greece in the end has to drop out of the uh, Eurozone or is pushed out by the Germans, um, then uh, managing the European economy on, by the European Central Bank is going to be extremely difficult. I think it's very hard to predict exactly what will happen, but quantitative easing is really just a drop in the but a bucket compared to, to what's going on and how they're handling Greece. Now, the European Central Bank 
has not s signaled very clearly about how they're going to handle Greece. Um, they just recently voted that they would provide a liquidity line to the Greek banks. Uh, they're in a lot of trouble because people are taking their money out of the banks. But they haven't signaled their clear intention uh, to help uh, Greece stay in the euro, uh, despite the fact that the European Central Bank uh, pledged to uh, do whatever it takes to, to keep the euro uh, strong, keep the euro going. So, Jerry, one element of the plan that Yanis Varoufakis, the Minister of Finance for Greece, had tabled is really issuing Greek bonds um, and the European Central Bank buying them. Now, this plan has been rejected by uh, Germany. Uh, is this a good thing that they have tabled this? It was a, more than reasonable. I mean, they were bending over backwards. Uh, I mean, reasonable in the sense that um, they're bending over backwards to uh, try to meet uh, what they perceive to be reasonable demands by the Europeans, um, but to give themselves uh, some breathing room to respond to their constituents who put them into office. And uh, the Europeans, especially the Germans and the, and the Dutch, have, have, are really playing hardball, and um, one could even suspect that they're trying to push Greece out of, out of the Eurozone. So today, the... the, the the Greek party, uh, the Greek government even uh, um, gave more concessions and it still hasn't been enough. So uh, it seems to me that if the European Central Bank uh, really wants to make its quantitative easing effective, then it has to uh, help Greece reach a solution. And I think the European Central Bank is going to undermine any positive impact it could have from quantitative easing if it goes along with the Germans to uh, push Greece out of the euro. All right, we'll be watching. Uh, Jerry, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.